Jane and I were building websites for other people and we were working from our lounge in Plumstead and we, we sold our time by the hour and we, we built we did marketing and business systems and websites and we thought well if we can sell something of our own, if we sell a product, uh, then we no longer have to sell our time. And we got together for a three day event to create a website out of nothing and that was the Bug Zapper which is an electric fly swatting racket. And we set this website up and we, we launched in 2005 and we started making sales online. So Shane was more of the kitchen buff. He, he had watched a lot of food TV and, and Jamie Oliver and the, and the like. And he thought, you know, maybe there's tools that real chefs use that ordinary people don't have access to. So we went to a chef friend and said, what are the 12 tools that you have in your kitchen that, uh, I don't know how we came up with number 12, but uh, the 12 tools that you have in your kitchen that ordinary people don't. We were selling single items on a, on a website and we thought 12 would be like really bold. Um, and now we've got 6,000. 6,000. I think one, one time we actually had 8,000. After that, Yappy Chef came into being because it was just the next products that we were going to sell online. Mm -hmm. And we were, we're still based in my lounge, Shane and I were neighbors. I had two young kids at the time and so we had to you know, keep keep the noise down when they were having their afternoon sleeps, and it was it was a, a small startup uh, setup. So over a week, I would imagine it was just a few hours at a time that we were dedicating to this thing. I remember a time saying, you know, we should just close this down and, and focus on some of our other sites that mm. seem to be doing better. So it wasn't this sort of surefire win from the beginning, and we we launched in August two thousand and six, and the first sale was to Shane's dad. And we sold a few other things to family members, my wife and friends. And, and it was actually November 2006, so a couple of months later, that we, we made the first sale to uh, someone we didn't know. And uh, her name was Denise Gunner. And I think at that stage we decided, you know, we can't just send this box. We can't just send the products in the box. And we're going to write something. We want it to be in, in handwriting so that it shows that they're real human beings behind Yappy Chef. It's not some robotic arm in a warehouse picking something off. This is us. It's, it's Andrew or Shane. And we, we wrote this letter and we said something like, hi Denise and you know, thanks so much for shopping from us and we really appreciate it. And, and since then we've been handwriting cards. We've written hundreds of thousands of, of handwritten cards. And, and we would actually walk down the road to go to the little stationery store to buy the envelopes mm -hmm. to buy the pink paper that we put in the box. So it was, it was very, um, a very manual process. The, the first person we hired was Mike and he was a he was a generalist. He answered the phones and packed the boxes and uh, swam in the pool and uh, and as we were hiring the, the next person as well we thought we gotta we need to move to bigger offices. This this needs to move from our lounge. So I think your wife was complaining about all oh, really? the <laughs> And I had two small kids and, uh, and it was actually it was actually getting quite big in, in terms of the, the storing the stock yeah. and packing the boxes and and so we moved to Westlake Business Park, which was um, also in, in Cape Town, southern suburbs. So I remember it being a massive decision and we were sitting there with the lease in front of us and it's like, are we going to do this? This is huge for us. And it, were, it was interesting in, in the early days, those little decisions seemed so massive. I, I, I distinctly remember the very first KitchenAid mixer sale, which uh, back in the time was probably, I don't know, two, two or three thousand rand. And we were still in my lounge and there was a literal happy dance, one of those Oh my word, someone has, has bought something this size uh, yeah. and, and now we'll sell yeah. multiple kitchenaids a day. So it's just how, how the celebration, the scale of the, the celebration changes. So, so the, the business has been going for 10 years and it's, it's amazing to think of the people who've been working for us for 7 years, uh, 6 years. You know, people like Dale and Katie who, who've been almost the whole journey uh, along the way. and. Uh, yeah, that we've been able to employ so many people mm. um, and such a big team. 85 now, but if you add everyone who's come and gone and been a worker of a, a Christmas time or uh, some other sort of project, it's, it's literally hundreds who have who've worked at Yuppie Chef and that's yeah. been probably one of the biggest privileges. Yeah, definitely. And I think one of the other things is in the early days when you, before you really have like an established culture in a business, you realize as people join, they bring something to that culture mm. and the feeling. And I remember specifically like as as the numbers grew, the office environment started to change, the look of the office started mm. to change, it became a, a lot more festive, uh, a lot more conversations going on, and that, that had a dramatic um, impact on our overall company culture, which was really positive to see. Looking back 10 years and how much, you know, go from nothing to where we are now, it's, 
uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing to think where we could be in 10 years time. And we still feel like there's so much to do that, that e-commerce, that, uh, that, that selling the, the products that we do and the markets that we do uh, has got so far to go. So we, we're really looking forward to the, the future of retail, the future of online, future of the brands that we sell. And, and, and we're looking forward to that journey. We, yeah, we're really grateful for every customer from the first one to, to the ones who are shopping right now for, for getting us to where we are, for the team that we built, uh, to the suppliers and, and everyone else who makes Happy Chef what it is. It's, uh, it, it's, it's an awesome journey that we're on. Roll up your sleeves and let's go.